Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you here on a Friday. It's uh, the 8th of November, first week of November in the books. Been a choppy week. The beginning of it certainly sucked. The duck uh, yesterday became a little bit clearer uh, and money was able to be made, so that was nice. Uh, certainly the gold fixed income and the dollar yen uh, did what we asked it to do uh, but that was yesterday uh, and let's focus more on today what's happening from the view of the European Open this sterling chart here looks like it's ready to um, take out some stale sterling longs 127.90 looks like the bull bear line here got plenty of room between 127.90 and 120. 590. Um, if we start seeing prices uh, hovering around 90, we'll start working on shorts because we do believe this is going to tip over um, either today or tomorrow. So we have an eye, our eye on this. I don't know what's going to drive it. Could be news. There's no real, uh, there's no real sterling releases today. So. We just have to be focused on the news feeds and keep an eye on cable price action. What else do we got? We got dollar cad here. Bunch of tops here at 132. The figure we've got cad employment today. This is this is a mover uh, for the Canadian dollar. Obviously, last week um, on Halloween. No, on the 30th, sorry, of October, the BOC came in, and they were unanimously dovish. You kind of have to be leaning for a negative one today. They obviously have a, their fingers on the pulse of these numbers. So top side is probably in play here. Got two highs uh, right here at the figure, but then the important BOC high was 10, so price is above 10. Uh, should probably lead to further gains in dollar cad. Aussie's been convoluted and really shitty. Um, going left, going right, going nowhere in the end. We still do favor this to the downside. No dog in this fight. Um, but if dollar cad does shoot higher, this should lend some left hand side uh, to the Aussie. Beginning of the week, we talked about getting long dollars are uh, 85, 78, 68s. This has basically just been one big scratch for us. We're out of this trade. This should have gone higher now. Um, not much to say on this, except for I just wanted to touch on it for those of you who are sticking with this idea. Less clear now. Uh, we were looking for basically a bump straight back higher. We have not gotten that, so. We just walk away from that. Another longer term position that we've been talking about, Euro Norway. Um, time to square up your shorts in Euro Norway now. We talked about getting short up there. Uh, 15, 25, we talked about the capitulation day up here when we went up to 31. Now as we head back towards um, 10 the figure, you just want to tidy up these uh, shorts and then try and resell um, you know try and get another percent on the average so say you're short at 24 you take some back at 08 you try and resell 12s and 15s and then you want so your average is around 1030 this is in the long term book but even if it is in a long term book you can trade it a bit uh, just to smooth out the P&L and just to manage your risk a little bit um, so I just wanted to point that out. Let's talk about um, gold through 80 yesterday as as expected. Traded all the way down to 65. This probably has further to go. Um, typically after these kind of bars you make another new low. Uh, we are actually buyers of gold. Uh, very tentatively somewhere around 1455 all the way down uh, to 1410. So between 1455 and 1410, 3% there. 
So size it, size it, size properly here if you're going to follow on this. So you tip your toes in at 55, you stick another toe in at 35, stick another toe in at 15, and you know, write it down on a piece of paper, think about the P&L at risk. But we are buyers of gold now. It was hit and run yesterday. Uh, we want to get long gold on any further uh, move to the left. Um, this is a trade that's probably not appropriate for most of you listening. Um, it's more of a weekly uh, hold or you know, 7 to 30 day hold period. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, if you're following from home. Boone's finally closed below the uh, 200 day moving average which we all know is at 170.30. Now you can sell any jag up between 80 and 30. So 169.80 and 170.30 is a sell. You just want to be short boons. Um, you know, we talked about it. There's another, there's a thousand points in this thing still. So um, we've taken a thousand from the highs. Nobody was short at, at 179.60. And if you were, that was just luck. Um, I'm sorry, this that's still an old contract. Um, we've taken 600 points on this contract. There's another thousand points to go. Um, so open your minds to this. This is the new leg down. Now we're going to go sideways for a bit, and then there will be another leg down. Boons lower along with the entire fixed income complex. We'll just throw the tens up here. We don't, we don't have this trade on, but this 128.15 level is very, very important. We need a weekly close below that. Uh, and it's the same type of trade. We, we, we like yields higher and all the fixed income. We think fixed income is going to lead this uh, sort of paradigm shift when it comes. So fixed income is our key core short. Secondarily, we'll be looking at um, equities. But fixed income is what we're, is our bread and butter here. Speaking of equities, Another fucked up day uh, with some um, totally D-bag headlines about the trade is done, the tariffs are out with, with absolutely no bibliography or evidence that any of this information is true. What are you going to do, right? I mean, uh, if you're short at, at, uh, at 70 and it's trading at 96, um, you just got to take your pill. Um, and if you're short at 96, or if you're long at 96, and then the news is is reversed, you got to take your pill. A lot of uh, a lot of pills are being taken in equities these days. It sure seems like um, no dog in this fight. We're skeptical, but look at the price, right? It's 3080. Uh, can't sink your teeth into anything here. There's no way in God's name would I want to be long. But I also cannot be short yet until I have some confirmation um, of a turn. And there's absolutely no confirmation of any turn in this chart. So just chill out. Be patient uh, with equities. I'm going to bring up the crude chart because this is something that's on our mind. And we're running some crude shorts here. CL crude oil futures CL1 yeah so we had this bearish engulfing uh, on Wednesday yesterday we made just a nippy nippy high at 57.88 all the way back down at 56.96 we like crude shorts here um, you know where your stop is it's it's above 57.90 uh, so size accordingly today we're going to be selling uh, I don't know, 10s and probably 30s on the 57 handle. We have a tiny core short from yesterday uh, already in the books. And then you add to this down through 56.13. Uh, we like crude shorts. Unusual for us to be playing in this market. Uh, but I just wanted to mention it for those of you who dig trading commodities. Anything out there I'm missing? Uh, we get some French numbers today, current account, uh, payroll numbers, but nothing really to write home with, write home about. Looks like it'll be a quiet European session 
as has been the case most of this year. We wait for the Yanks to come in and dollar CADs on the frontal lobe, right? This is the unemployment level. Unemployment numbers are coming out in CAD, so that'll be the big mover. And then we'll be watching very, very closely what the stock market does and what the bond markets do. It's Friday, people. Let's make some more money, uh, round out the week, finish it on a good note. Uh, I will see you guys on Monday. Uh, if you like our stuff here, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Tell your dog to subscribe. Tell your cousin to subscribe. If you're like the guy in Ireland who might even be married to his cousin, uh, tell your wife to subscribe. Uh, also, thumbs up if you think it's good. And if you think it's bad, uh, go ahead and let us know why so we can fix anything that might be broken. Ciao, people. Bye, 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 bye.